Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Time Predicts. Today we're doing another reading and I have another setting. <laughs> so I keep experimenting with settings so you can get a clearer, brighter picture. I sounded like a TV right now, television ad. <laughs> but anyway, let's start with the messages. So these are exact time when they will call you and uh, exact messages uh, or exact words they'll say to you. And I'm also going to do a lot of other cards. Uh, and also the zodiac i'm just going to take these cards out which i did not sorry i'm holding the camera in one hand so i'm trying not to you know actually uh yeah move too much so you can get a better stable picture so let's see i'm going to start with the times i get 4 40 pm 7 30 pm 6 10 pm in the evening they're going to call you they're going to message you but definitely i, I feel a call coming like I always say plus minus 10 minutes or otherwise you know just keep in your mind that they're going to call you and the call will come guys do not worry about it but these are the times that are getting uh whichever time zone you are you will know because i'm in a different time zone so calculate uh, accordingly okay i also get uh, the other time that i get is 11 um 10 a.m 11 40 a.m and 1 30 p.m 1 30 p.m is in the afternoon guys it's not night time night time would be 1 30 a.m because i feel a lot of people do get confused so no worries remember these timelines you can note them down and then calculate whatever sorry i think let me just put the view like this yeah i'll go clear uh, closer when it's required let's not fight let's uh, plan a date i think you guys are fighting and the person is saying let's not <laughs> let's not fight we had to go on a date and uh, we forgot the date and we started fighting so those are the exact words that i get so do not fight with them they want to go out on a date with you they want to take you out okay so if they call or if they say let's get together please say a yes uh, we'll be back together okay i said get, i said let's get back uh, let's get together so on the back of it, I'd written this message, which I forgot. We will be back together. So definitely, I think you know, whatever kind of uh, distance that was created between you two, either travel or uh, work wise or otherwise, any any problems between you two, you guys will be back together, back together, definitely for a date. Somewhere they showed a pattern to you. Some uh, Maybe it's a hot and cold pattern. Maybe it's they don't call you four days and they call you up to uh, four days i mean they've uh, set a pattern in their life for you you know and the relationship and i do not and you do not like that pattern so see i've written a pattern and uh, you probably every time react to the pattern they're like you know i do this you know you uh, you know you've been with me for so long you know i behave like this so why you know uh, why why are you worrying you know this is just a pattern and it's almost like saying you know me my, uh, know me by now why are you reacting you know and this is how i am if i don't call one day i will call you the next day you know you know that it's not that i'm going away and probably you always get anxious when they don't call that's what i feel you could be seeing angel numbers 444777 that's a visual i got in my mind with the numbers so i thought probably those are important uh, for you uh, they're fearing that you will block them. I don't know why. I feel, uh, you know, uh, I feel a little fight and you guys uh, block each other. You have the habit of blocking the person for some time. It's almost like a punishment. They don't like it. So don't block it. Uh, block the person. Okay. That's really what I feel. You know, you don't want them to see what you're doing or you're online or not. Don't do that because uh, they, they really hate it. That Those are the words probably from them that are coming to me. So do not do that. Do not block them, guys. I mean have a healthy uh, talk i was going to say have a healthy fight <laughs> i mean have a healthy talk and uh, see what's going on don't block them you know and here's the word fight why do we have to fight so definitely i feel you guys uh, i just saw 333 three, three when i said fight maybe you might see 333 three, three. Uh, why do we have to fight is like I mean little, little things become a fight and it's like okay you go away you go away I don't want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you let's not see each other it becomes like a bigger fight it starts with a very small silly issue I feel they are feeling anxious and there's an anxiety that will you pick up my call I think you told them do not call me or I'm not going to pick up your call if you call me um, so they're getting anxious about it I mean uh, this is disturbing them did you block them and that's why they're getting uh, anxious but definitely I feel anxiety you know they are getting anxious about something there are people around me will call later maybe they could not call you because there were people around them maybe there were other people around them maybe you married they are not married or uh, they are married and you're not married and uh, it's difficult for them to call you or uh, they have to do a hush hush job about calling you i don't know they could be busy or there could be people around them they could be working and they, they cannot call you so i think they want you to somewhere get the hint and understand them if I don't say it doesn't mean I don't love you. I think that's a beautiful message. They're saying if I don't say it enough doesn't mean that I don't really love you or something. I do love you. And do not, uh, you know, always keep thinking that, oh, you know, today they call me. They do not say I love you. And maybe that's why they don't like me. And I think you guys have been together for long to understand that. So that's what I think. I, I think their exact words are like, you know, my pattern, you know, you know, 
you know, I behave like that. And after some time, I think uh, uh, even if you don't say things, uh, you understand each other's pattern or you know, okay, the person is not talking to me. Maybe, you know, they need time away. If there's a fight and I'll call them and then they'll pick up a call. You know how you behave, you know, everybody behaves differently in a relationship. So definitely you know each other well. And uh, yes, it uh, doesn't really mean that they don't love you. These could be your letters, their letters or uh, beginning of the names or important places you have met, something to do with uh, months, uh, like where could you could have met a uh, name of a month or something, like S could be a September or could be an October. I also got temporary, I don't know what temporary is, it is a temporary setting, is it a temporary situation or is the problem temporary, that's what I feel. I also got the word limit. I don't know why, what limit. I mean, probably you would use the word or they would have used the word that, I mean, there's a limit to something or there's a limit to everything. I mean, it can't keep going on. Maybe you just uh, told them that. That's, an, uh, that's another thing that I got, got, you know. I'm just seeing if there's any, anything. Yeah, that's, I mean, those are the words that are coming to me. And I mean, seriously, uh, those are the words that I can see and make and i think a uh, channel so maybe those were the messages for you let's see what the romance angel cards are saying remember this is a gen reading guys don't get jumpy if there is a card that's not right for you because there'll be several messages that will resonate and several that will not resonate they have romantic feelings towards you i'm not going to take reversals so your uh, feelings are real and worth exploring. So maybe it's a new relationship or they do feel uh, for you and you're just wondering, you know, if they have the same feelings like you probably have started really feeling for them. So in your mind, you're like, should I ask them? Should I not ask them? And you're, you know, dying to ask them also. So they do uh, really feel for you. Okay, that's what I, f that's what I feel. <laughs> they have romantic feelings for you. Here it is. Release your ex. For some of you, this is the message that you were waiting for. The time has come to clean your energy doesn't mean that if you're going around with someone you break up with someone just because i'm saying like i always say this is uh if you've already moved on from your ex but st somewhere you still carry memories of the person i know you always uh, have fond memories of the person you've gone out with or you know if it's a toxic person or anything else i think it's time to cut your cords or just release them i think you um uh, holding them hold i mean just like a, it's like a burden you know your memories become a burden for you and you're still holding them and you keep going back to them or you keep comparing uh, other people uh, with the uh, you know your ex so i really feel that you need to just release this burden i think because you keep thinking of them i mean it's time to let go you've already let go of the person but not of uh, not uh, let go of their memories see I, I feel there's a letter here this is the first time i'm seeing it i've had these cards for so long so either you saw something about them, read a note about them, you know, that they had sent you or probably you were cleaning, you know, a lot of times uh, cleaning your drawer or something and, you know, they, there's this letter and suddenly, you know, I feel memories came rushing back. Yeah, that's what I get. So it could be one of these uh, things. Let's see the zodiac signs. I'm going to take out six signs. Let's see what zodiac sign they could be or you could be. Where's our angel? I think let's keep our angel here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure Torian is jumping out somewhere here, <laughs> taking out six cards. Oh my God, guys. I mean, there is, <laughs> I'm a cusp, I, I'm a cusp Taurus and uh, Gemini, but I have more, Ge I have like 99.99, <laughs> if there is a 99, 90.9% 90 uh, Gemini trace, but Taurus is jumping to me in my readings. I think there's a Torian out there who really loves me. One of the subscribers or <laughs> listeners one so take out five more you've got leo so you could be a leo or they could be a leo if you've got pisces here great okay we've got capricorn we've got scorpio one more one more one more one more one more yes i think this one cancer okay we've got a lot of water sign i think we've got all three water signs so water signs probably this is more of a reading for you but remember if your uh, sign is not that this is capricorn here it is if you can't read it here's the famous torian that always pops up <laughs> in my readings so yeah that's that's what i feel i mean i feel these are your messages and uh, this is this is like a great great reading and i'm just wondering if i want to give one more message from the witch tarot I'm just trying to give messages, you know, as many guidances as you can get to help you. Let's see if there's a message waiting for you. 
oh this situation i think uh, you both are not taking action this is for some of you you know i get more september born if you were born in september or your relationship just started in september like not long ago could be last september there is a situation i mean uh, not, not much action is happening either you are not doing much or they are not doing much in the whole relationship i think it's become stagnant or there is no action in the relationship you know you waiting for them they are waiting for you waiting for things to happen or probably there's no activity in the relationship wow this is a good one i mean for some of you this is this will be marriage this will be a home this is want of children probably you are married you will have a kid or you know or your family will get together very soon to meet the person if you want to get married to the person but this is a happy home you know october is going to be a good month happy happy month so this is nice beautiful so that's all guys and i hope you had a great time listening to my reading do like share and subscribe and if you want to take a membership you can do that also and do comment please guys i read all the comments and i love them and lots of love to you bye guys